Hey everyone, my name is Ankit. I'm a software engineer turned security evangelist and I secure businesses for food because I believe hungry security researchers are the best. In this video, I'll tell you what bad could a vulnerable API lead to and how to conduct a comprehensive API security audit. So stay tuned. You have microservice based application infrastructure, therefore a lot of REST API calls within the different application services. API security is nothing but securing the API endpoints from attackers. As I mentioned, API allows data exchange between applications. A hacker breaches API security so that this bad guy can access sensitive data stored on your website, which makes me tell you that a vulnerable API could lead to one data leaks of customers, which is later sold in black market. Second, defacement to your website and business, which can severely affect your brand's reputation in the market. Then it could lead to plunge in users and revenue, sanctioning fuzzy inputs, injection vulnerabilities, parameter tampering, and even lawsuits if there's negligence on your behalf. Now let's look at what are the right practices for API security testing. The first and foremost is to test API for input fuzzing. Fuzzing simply means providing random data to the API until it spills something out some information, some error messages, or anything to imply that random data has been processed by the API. And you can use a simple tool like Fuzz API for that. Second thing that you can do is to test API for SQL injection attacks. So SQL injection attacks are successful when the unsanitized API input is processed by the database. Hence, it is important to test your REST API for any SQL injection bugs. Try providing SQL commands in the input like the one you see on the screen. If the API is vulnerable to SQL injection, either error-based or value-based, then these values in the parameters may help bypass some restrictions and respond with HTTP 200 status. These SQL commands might not work as is while you're testing an API. I suggest you to play with different payloads while security testing. Next thing you can do is to test API for command injection attacks. The API inputs can also be injected by various operating system commands. These commands then get executed on the server. However, for different operating systems, based on what operating system you're using, it be Windows, Linux, etc., these commands would be different. For instance, for a Linux system, the command rm slash can remove the entire root directory. When URL is encoded, then this command would look something like these operating system commands might not work as is while you're testing an API. I suggest you again to play with different payloads while you're testing for security. Next step is to test API for parameter tampering. Often parameters sent through an API request may be vulnerable to tampering. By tampering them, an attacker can change the values of a product and therefore purchase it for almost free. For instance, if there's a hidden field in the form submitted by the user, something like here, the attacker can change the value from $100 to $1 and buy the product for almost free. This can be done using the element inspector in any browser. So make sure to test such hidden fields when sending requests to your API endpoint. Next thing is to test API for unhandled HTTP methods. Web applications communicating using API often use various HTTP methods. These HTTP methods are used for saving, removing, or getting the data. So if a server does not support an HTTP method, typically it should show an error. But this is not the case always, especially for the vulnerable APIs. To test for such vulnerability, make a head request to your API endpoint, which requires authentication. There are several ways to send head requests. To accomplish this using Python, add the following code to a Python script and run it. So those were certain areas you could test your APIs for security. But just doing those won't let you conduct a comprehensive security audit. In another minute, I'll walk you through Astra's security audit process. We believe the saying one size fits all does not work well with security. That's why each security audit is tailored to your application's technology stack, which makes this the very first step in our security audit process. We go ahead and perform hacker style security testing to uncover all possible vulnerabilities in your application. Unlike traditional practices, Astra's audit reports have video POCs and Selenium scripts, which enables your developers to fix vulnerabilities in record time by collaborating with our engineers within our VAPT dashboard. After a successful security audit, your business is awarded with a safe application certificate. 
Are you still confused if we are the right security company for you or not? Well, I leave that to people who are already flaunting their safe application certificate to the world. If I say we are the security company you never had, won't be wrong. I am sure this video was useful for you and if in case you have doubts regarding VAPT and security audits, then I leave all relevant links in the description below and suggest you to reach out to us. Bye bye.